first time ever we had the astonishing sight of John's half-scale Magister flying with the real one. Uh, never ever did I think in my lifetime I would see it. I didn't think the CAA would ever allow it. But there they were, the half-scale Magister and the real Magister formation together. The full-size one was flown by Pete Townsend, who was a very conspicuous uh, piece uh, wires in every direction. This is the aeroplane in which the famous uh, legless um, World War II fighter S, Douglas Bader. Bader was flying a bulldog, uh, doing stunting low down uh, in the 1930s. Uh, he was a very cocky individual and he got a bit too low. The aeroplane went in and uh, Bader subsequently. Uh, shortly afterwards we saw the advent of the cantilever monoplanes with retracting undercarriage and Really, the Bulldog is the, the end of a long line of wire brace biplanes. Not altogether that much different from the... Andy Aitken to the pilot's box, please. Andy Aitken to the pilot's box. John's just told me the Miles Magister in service was the first trainer to fix your flaps. Obviously, nothing dangerous, but um, within 100 or so feet, and it looked extremely good. Same colours, you know, the yellow with the uh, metal spinner. Burn is aircraft of the First World War. Wire brace, uh, strut brace, wing. Much bigger, much heavier, but similar armament to an SE5, two machine guns. Very lucky to survive, but his legs were gone. And uh, because of the war, he was able to get back into the Royal Air Force and uh, eventually fly single, single, single seated fighters in the back. Absolutely enormous. I've seen the wooden structure in. Ian's house in Heaven and uh, very impressive it is too. Give you some idea, the Don Patrol aircraft are one third scale, it's double the size of them. Absolutely enormous. Landing John? No, okay. And it was simply put onto the D7 framework without pay. The fabric was put on and built and it served something like 80 pounds in weight which was significant in these days. Absolutely gorgeous. Hands together, ladies and gentlemen, Ian Tenney White and John Townsend.